Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of my Southampton Let's Play on Football Manager 2016. And since the last episode where we lost 2-1 to Arsenal, we have played four matches. We'll get into the first one, which was the Capital One Cup fourth round tie against Burnley. And this was quite disappointing. We probably should have won this in normal time. But like it is with penalty shootouts, it's the look of the draw really. And we lost. 5-1 penalties. Jordi Classy missing the penalty for us. They scored all of theirs and they got a man sent off, but that wasn't the 121st minute. So you couldn't really take advantage of that. Um, quite dis a bit disappointed actually to get knocked out with a Capital One Cup as I did think that was a, a winnable competition for us. And obviously it would be knocked out earlier than our board wanted us to. We're expected to reach the quarterfinals of it. And then next up in the league, it was our third defeat in a row Everton 3-1 we did take the lead but Everton came back Baines and Lukaku got two and they just outplayed us really nothing, nothing else I can, can really say about that one J. Rodriguez was our best player and I thought things were just going, going to get worse but then I saw that we had video on in the Europa League and I thought well that should be an easy game to win and it was 3-0 3-0 victory for us against Videoton. As you can see, we have 7% of possession. Gaston Ramirez getting the brace. Graziano Pelle getting 1-2. Gaston Ramirez, in fact, getting 9.2 match rating because he made the goal for, for Pelle as well. But unfortunately, that meant he was Gaston was too tired to start the next match, which was in the league, against Sunderland. Which we won, still. With nine men, might I add. As I... As Veltman got sent off for two two big couple offences on the sixtieth minute, and I'd used all my subs by the sixty fifth minute when Oriel Romeo got injured, so we had to play with nine men, and we managed to get a penalty in the eighty sixth minute and took the lead. I'd say it's no less than we deserved. Sunderland did put up a pretty good fight, but they their their shooting was just awful, really, <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Um, so that's us all caught up and of course we have the Chelsea game today at Stamford Bridge this is going to be a tough one Chelsea are top of the league I'll just show you the league so there you go Chelsea are top 30 points nine points ahead of us in sixth so this this is going to be a tough game so as you can see Chelsea are clear favorites for this one what one on against us at nine to one so I've made a few changes from the last game um, brought Virgil van Dijk in for Veltman because Veltman's suspended. Classy is in for Oriol Romeo because he's injured. And Gaston comes in for Steven Davis because he's also injured. Let's see how that goes. They're both playing the same formation as you can see. Ward Prowse, the player we sold in the summer, is going to be playing against us today. I have gone for a more defensive for the defensive um, instructions and mentality. We're counter-attacking more structured. And in the instructions, uh, exploiting the flanks, more direct passing. See how that works out at the start of the game. We will say, I know we're the underdogs, we'll go out there and give the fans performance to cheer for. Let's see how we get on. It's a tough ask, but I'm sure we're up for it. The throw in for us now. The psycho throws it. Pedro heads it clear. It's classy. It's Wanyama. Come on. Let's get nearly goal. Cedric. Wanyama. Classy, Ramirez, through to Tadic, Mario Fernandez covered. He was a player that I was looking at, but he had no interest at all in signing me. In fact, Chelsea have looked have signed a few of the players that I've been looking at. Ward Prowse with ball in Oscar, Terry one 0 Chelsea. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a corner. Ramirez whips it in. Font Van Dijk saved by Courtois. I have, well, I am about to make some changes here in tactic, in the tactics. Um, changing it to standard and flexible and just making us retain possession is our only instruction Matic to Oscar this can't be too surely good block well into Psycho, good block Chelsea have got a corner Ward Prowse crosses it Long clears it again we need to get the ball out of our out of our areas Pedro on the edge of the box. Good tackle by Ramirez. Tadic. 
comes away with the ball and gives it straight away to Pedro. It's going to be one of those games, isn't it, where we give the ball away to the other team constantly. Oscar, Falcao, Mario Fernandez crosses it, saved by Stecklenburg. Change just to play a higher tempo as Stecklenburg kicks it out. Van Dijk has got it for us. Wanyama. Cedric, come on, keep the ball. Hazard. Hazard with a massive... That's just... Oh. He ran through our defence like a knife through butter. That was just absolutely disgraceful. Right, come on. Wanyama, Cedric, Pele. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like Hazard again trying to recreate what he just did. So we're going back to more direct passing. I don't think anything's going to help us today. This just looks like a game that we're destined to lose. Van Dyke, the psycho. Looking for Pele. Pele's got no one to flick the ball onto. Good tackle by the psycho and Tadic gives it to Ramirez. Go on, Tadic. Classy. Pele. Ramirez. Goal. Oh. No. How? We've got to throw in and deep inside our own half. We need to get it out. Tadic. Ramirez. Pele. This is a bit better. Classy. Ramirez. Play through. The psycho. Chance to cross, crosses it, Tadic, shoots, saved by Courtois, who looks unbeatable in the Chelsea goal today. And that corner came to nothing. Is it going to be a chance, Font? Oh, it was offside anyway, and the header was not on target. It's Chelsea on the attack again with Hazard. Falcao, saved by Stecklenburg. Chelsea got a throw with Azpilicueta, Azpilicueta. Terry looking for a second. That's a goal mouth scramble if ever I saw one. Hazard on the edge of the box now. Shoots and he scores his second goal of the game. The psycho with a throw. It's classy. Onyama. How can, how can you possibly think that's a good ball to make? There's like three Chelsea players standing in front of the man. And you think, oh, I'll pass it to him. Pele to Ramirez. Ramirez with a chance for a goal. <sighs> How can we not get past Courtois? I know he's good, but he's not unbeatable. That's a free kick for us. Send him off, ref. We need them to be down at 10. He didn't. Oh, well. Ramirez, the free kick. That was pathetic. And Chelsea on the attack again. Right, counter-attack Ramirez. Pele, find someone. Someone in red, not blue. Well, in the psycho, good header. Tadic looking for Pele. Needed a mistake from the defender then. That wasn't going to come from John Terry. Pedro, got Glock, come on, Classy, Monyama, Ramirez, long ball to Tadic, it's Tadic, we've had our fair share of chances, we haven't had as many as Chelsea, but we've had a, quite a few, we've got a corner, headed away easily by Aspel Equator, and Chelsea have a throw again, it's Hazard on the edge of the box, looking for his hat-trick, and he got it. And see why he's a contender for World Player of the Year. And Pedro's on a run now for Chelsea. We need to tackle much better than this. Falcao, Pedro. Tackle by Font. Only the Hazard. Tadic. Tackles Hazard. That's Pilaqueta with a throw. Headed away. Only to Oscar. That's Pilaqueta. Steckenberg saves. Cedric clears. So we've not been good enough so far. Make sure the team understand our disappointment. Use that one. Seems to work quite well. Control. Fluid. 
keep that like that because we seem to be doing well with that. Tadic isn't having the best of games for us today. So bring JJ Rodriguez on. Throw for Chelsea. Matic. Oscar. Come on, we need to tackle them. It's Pedro. Saved by Stecklenburg again and cleared by Cedric. So I'm taking Cedric off because he was just having a terrible game. As he tackles and gives the ball away. Oscar. Onyama tackles and it goes straight to a Chelsea player again. Pedro. We need to tackle him. I can't back off. Goal kick from Stecklenburg. Terry clears it. I think Ward Prowse knows he's made a good decision in moving to Chelsea. Especially since he's getting played as well. Matic. Van Dijk heads it away, but it's only to Ward Prowse and Fernandez. Hazard's going to collect this, which is always dangerous. He's looking for his hat trick. It's Hazard. That was the easiest goal he'll score in his entire life. Steckenberg with long ball forward. <laughs> I have changed my tactic again. Got two up front, two wingers. Hazard for his fourth. I am just going to go for broke with going attacking very, very soon because we've honestly got nothing to lose. As Falcao nearly scored a worldie there. And Chelsea have another corner. Headed away by Classy. Right, Long, a chance for a counter-attack for us. Shane Long running down the right. Can he cross it? Ramirez. Pele. He should have scored. He had the goal gaping. And he couldn't get the connection on it. Probably a mix of good defending and bad luck there. And Chelsea have another throw in them. Throw-ins have been dangerous today. Hazard on the edge of the box, looking for his fourth. Wanyama tackles, Rodriguez clears. Pele on the attack for Southampton now. Wanyama has not had the best of games, it's fair to say. It's Pele. Rodriguez saved again by Courtois. Chelsea on the attack again. Hazard looking to get another to Costa. Hazard thought that was in. I guess it could be worse than 4 0. That could be about to get worse than 4 0. It's Willian. Stecklenburg looking for Pele, but Cahill just winning everything in the air today. Kennedy. When Yama tackles, but goes straight back to Kennedy. It's saved by Stecklenburg. Van Dyke clearing it for us. Look at the shots. Chelsea had 22 shots. We have we've been completely outplayed today. Rodriguez going on one of his runs, trying to recreate Hazard's goal from the first half. A psycho Pele over the bar. Mane scored, but we missed the highlight. We didn't see the highlight from Mane scoring there. So this is the Mane goal. So Willian coming forward, tackled. Kennedy with the ball, crosses it in. Headed away, and Classy comes away with the ball for Slampton. Now it's Mane. Watch him. It's Pele. Rodriguez. Classy. Out wide to Visaiko with a chance to cross it in. Visaiko crosses. Mane's there. Header and a goal. 4 1. We go back live to the game. Pele. Tackled by Mario Fernandez. Chelsea on the attack. Hazard plays it towards Willian. Van Dijk needs to tackle, and he does. It's Rodriguez. For Psycho. Matic is coming over the ball for Chelsea. Hazard, long ball to Willian. Chance to get the fifth off the bar, headed away by Aina. And Rodriguez heads it further. And Azpilicueta with one of those dangerous throws again. Headed away by Font. Almost full time here, Cahill. Mario Fernandez, can Chelsea get a fifth before the whistle? Not likely. Time is up. Chelsea 4, Southampton 1. Disappointing result. I expected to get beaten, but... 
I'll just say that they, were, they gave it the best effort. Oh, brilliant. That's what happens when I listen to my assistant manager. That is what happens. Okay, so as you can see, we've Everton have overtaken us. We're down in seventh, but we've got played one more game than the teams in the eighth, ninth, and tenth. So by the end of the weekend, we could be. Oh, we could only go below Newcastle. That's fine then. That's okay. So we'll be back with the Dnipro game in the Europa League. So we're back for the Dnipro game, and for some reason they're the favourites for this one. I think it's because we've got so many injuries, but Fraser Force has been out the entire season, and Emmanuel Adebayo hasn't actually played for us yet. So I think the game's just a bit confused, really. We've obviously qualified for this. I have played a strong team for some reason. I actually forgot that we'd already qualified. We've got a throw in on the right hand side, Cedric. He throws it straight to the other team, but when Yama gets there, and it's Mane. Chance to play through to Pele. It's tackled. Dnipro come away with the ball. Selezniov. Bezos. Ruiz. Over the bar. Aim is to get 100% record in the Europa League. We've got a free kick now. Ramirez crosses it in. It's headed away by the multitude of Dnipro players that were in the box. Font, Cedric, Wanyama, Classy, Rodriguez, a psycho with a chance to cross it, gives it to Rodriguez again, it's Classy, someone have a shot, and the chance is wasted as the Dnipro clear it, and Van Dijk with a terrible touch, gives the ball to Slezniov, who should have scored, Rotan gives it to Ruiz, and Wanyama clears, not good from us there, not at all. So half time, quite disappointing, nil nil. Uh, if we can get a goal, it makes favourites to win, to go out there and make it happen. And I'm going to change this to attacking and fluid. Van Dijk with the free kick gives it to Vasaiko. He's got lots of options, gives it to Ramirez. It's Rodriguez now. Through to Classy. I think Classy shot, but it was blocked. It's Cedric now, tackled by Rotan, and Dnipro come away with the ball. But they give it away to Cedric again. He gives it away to Vlad. This group could get quite interesting in the fight for the second qualification place for the next knockout round. Barte managed to... Well, what Barte would have to beat us, wouldn't they? But between Videoton and Dnipro, it's going to be quite interesting. Obviously, they play each other in the, the final group game as well. Selesnyov. Tomasak. Tomasak crosses. Selesnyov saved by Stecklenburg. Cleared by Cedric. Onyama. Crossed by Cedric. Headed away. And Bezos with the ball now for Dnipro. Looking for Selesnyov. And Van Dijk, who's already on a yellow card, has just gone through Selesnyov. And that will be a second book in. And he's off. Brilliant. It's nil nil. And we're down to 10 men. And we're all pretty tired. He's really helped his teammates out there. So, gonna risk taking Gaston off and bringing Ola Einer on. Rotan with a corner. Headed away by Font, only to Tomasak. Shoots and saved by Stecklenburg. This looks like it's got nil nil written all over it. I love that an Ypres are going to sneak one. Rotan. Slesnyov Fedetsky, saved by Stecklenburg again. The Nipro having a lot more shots than us now. Stecklenburg. Looking for Mane with a goal kick. But the defender got there first, and when Yama. Gave the ball back to Dnipro after he just won it. Vlad out wide for Dnipro to Tomasak. Rotan, Aina tackles. Tomasak's got it again. Gives to Bezos and there's the goal. 1 0. Some players take more risks and gone overload. Mane, Cedric. Looking for Pele. Guy gets there first. One Yama though. It's classy. This could be our chance. That's a corner. I thought Classy had kicked that out that far wide himself. I was about to shout at him. Cedric crosses it and it's cleared. Pele. Psycho. Cleared again. Mane. Can he cross it? No, he can't. Cedric with the corner. Headed away by Fedetsky. It's Classy. This overload is, seems to be working well. Rodriguez saved by Lestovka. Obviously, being down to 10 men is difficult. Which is probably why we are losing this game. Virgil van Dijk is to blame. 
Edmar Tomashak blocked Classy they come away with the ball gives it to Rodriguez through to Pele not got any support with him looking for Classy Mane on the right Classy switches flanks to Rodriguez who shoots and he should have scored that one just wide from Jay Rodriguez five minutes left still 1-0 to the Dnipro Jordi Classy's been booked as well the players are all pretty tired. The league game at the weekend is not going to be comfortable watching for me. I can tell that already. Rotan crosses it. Front heads it clear. Psycho heads it further clear. Rodriguez. Can we get a last minute equaliser? It's Pele. We're in a stoppage time. It's classy now. Switches it to Mane. Mane just gets there. It's to cross it. Does and it's cleared by Guy. When Yama wins the ball back though, and it's headed away by Guy again. When Yama wins it back again, Classy Pele. He tried to shoot there. I know the long ball looking for Pele. It's Classy Pele was offside. That should be that. Ten seconds left. Looks like it's going to be our first defeat. In the Europa League this season, it's at the hands of Dnipro in the proper Zvek or whatever they're called. 1 0 full time, not happy, especially not happy at the fitness levels either. Far from pleased with that result. So that's it for this episode, and we will be back. I was thinking about doing the Bournemouth game, but I don't think I will as it's really close to this one. So we'll be back with the Manchester City and Aston Villa games. I played Aston Villa twice in the space of three games. That's interesting. We'll be back with the Manchester City and Aston Villa games. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all the content when it's released. And I'll see you next time.